Good afternoon, all. CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Monday afternoon, September 11th. We are looking at Window Traders market profile of the ES and the NQ. Very quiet day today. Um, we stayed in balance. Uh, interestingly enough, SPY stretched the three day balance by a little bit, got into that gap. ES got right up to, to the tick, their December contract um, balance high. Remember, I took, I took, I take away all that, that gap and everything else because I don't back adjust. So we're in a four day balance right now. NQ um, goes out with a double distribution day, actually had a triple distribution day at one point. They did pro, but not by a lot. They just took out their IB high and their overnight high. ES, on the other hand, got the overnight high, the IB low, and then came all the way up and spent three hours up here but couldn't get a couple of points to go get both sides of the IB. Very interesting. And then righty, on the other hand, it took to the last seven minutes of the trading day to finally get their IB low. They go out with a nice B shape, um, nine wide, and an afternoon rally high and I. NQ was actually eight for eight at one point, and then they went trend. We uh, ended up only seven wide. N just the day's high and low in ES, but in SPY, I'm actually going to use JLO. They had a little spit out. I'm going to use JLO as an afternoon pullback. Do I really think I'm going to lean on that tomorrow? If, no, but I will carry forward for now. Um, the volume pox, SPY raised theirs um, earlier than ES. ES raised theirs late in the day. To me, it looks like this market's very comfortable going home long here. We spent a long time up here with a lot of volume without not without getting much. They did shake out some in l &M, but certainly not all of them. So to me, the market's comfortable. Had a decent day. Made eight points in ES29 and NQ. Um, actually took a long, actually made money on the long side in ES. Made six points um, after they filled the gap. Um, so did okay on that. And then in NQ took a long, because I did not think we would go trend down. So when they broke A's low, I took a long in NQ, made 11 points. Um, then I started shorting NQ with the ebb and flow, thinking we might get the IB low. Made 10 points on that. I did it again in D period. I was actually up 8 points. And then I gave back 10 because D started going higher. I'm like, I'm out. I, something's changed here. Um... And then in the afternoon, I took a, a small short in F period, made two points in ES. I thought maybe we could get an afternoon rally high and have a B shape and roll over. Obviously, that didn't happen. And then I made uh, about 10 points on NQ, just waiting to finally pop the top in I period to take out A's high. Righty ends with that B shape. We don't end with any shape. We end shapeless. So, not bad. 8 in ES, 29 in NQ to start the week. Quiet week, very light volume, very small range. As far as destinations go, today's high in SPY, 448.77 and fill in the gap at 449.17 from September 6th. Then I'll use JLO, 448 as a pullback, and today's low, 446.47. Remember, 445.90. Um, as nine wide from September 8th below us. NES. Now here we go again with the rollover gap. 1950 is the low. And then the rollover gap gets filled at 7750, 4477 50. So over a $4 dividend. Um uh, not dividend, rollover gap. And then 12 and a quarter is 12 wide from September 5th. That is the only one I carry forward from last um, contract because it's a pock. The others were above it, they're gone. That becomes a downside. On the upside, we have 43.50, which is today's high, and 47.50 right now is September's monthly high that we did not get. And then quickly on the charts. So remember, we have one more day before CPI. We had an inside week last week. Well, we're still inside of it, so it's still balanced. All nine of our time frames on these three indices, monthly, weekly, daily, are now in balance because Righty put their daily back in balance. I'm still calling this balance, even though we stretched it a bit. It's a four-day balance. If we take out today's high tomorrow, I would go up on the daily, okay? Uh, and also, triple Qs, 
also on balance, they did not get Wednesday's high. They missed it by about 14 cents. So they're still in balance as of now. We're above the 20 and the 50 um, in SPY. Hope you had a good day trading. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. Enjoy your evening, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.